What are the things that you should be doing every single day with your dog? By infusing your daily routine with structure and consistency, you can cultivate a robust and harmonious relationship where your dog looks to you for guidance and leadership. Join me in this video as I share the daily practices and exercises I've implemented with Gandalf. These invaluable tips are designed to seamlessly integrate into your own routine, enhancing your bond, communication, and leadership with your furry friend. Before we dive into the tips and exercises I've been doing with Gandalf, I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Thomas, and I'm not a professional dog trainer, but rather a dedicated dog owner who's had the pleasure of raising an awesome corgi in Gandalf. My goal here is to show that you don't have to be an expert to train a dream corgi companion. If I can do it, so can you. To some degree, if you are a dog owner, you are an amateur dog trainer, and I'm here to help you on that journey. While Gandalf may not be perfect, he's undoubtedly a pretty amazing dog, and I'm excited to share the strategies and techniques that have worked for us in hopes that they'll benefit you and your furry friend as well. Now, on to the video. Life is full of excitement. And it's easy for your dog to get caught up in the moment, letting their animal instincts take over. Just like us, resisting impulses can be challenging, requiring discipline, consistency, and practice. With two energetic young kids in our family, I often see similarities between them and Gandalf during his puppy days, as they all tend to run around in circles with boundless energy. That's why incorporating discipline into our lives is essential for building impulse control. Today. I'll be sharing practical exercises to help strengthen your dog's impulse control on a daily basis. One of our goals is to foster a dynamic where your dog seeks guidance and leadership from you in all aspects of life. Establishing a routine of communication where your dog learns to stay, make eye contact for direction, and wait for release is key. The principle is applicable in various scenarios. Before venturing out of the house, encourage your pup to stand by the door and wait for a release cue before stepping outside. This practice helps instill impulse control, preventing the common issue of dogs darting out of the house. The same principle can be applied when entering your home or any threshold you want to mark. This could be a side gate, before heading upstairs in your home, or before getting into a car. Depending on your daily routine, think about which threshold markers you want to establish where your dog will need to look to you before entering or exiting. In our home, we have a routine of wiping Gandalf's paws before he enters beyond our entryway. To facilitate this, we have him lay down on his side for easy access to his paws. This not only keeps our home clean from muddy paws, but also serves as an effective method for reinforcing impulse control. Once we finish wiping his paws, we release him. During crate training, it's common for eager dogs to rush out of the crate as soon as it's opened, fueled by pent-up energy from confinement. Teaching your dog to stay and wait for permission to be released is a valuable exercise for enhancing impulse control. These concepts were initially introduced in the first two videos of our training series as they form the foundation of puppy training. However, even at nine years old, we continue to train Gandalf as maintaining impulse control requires ongoing reinforcement. When it comes to building a strong bond with your dog, two things reign supreme, food and play. Given that Gandalf is a corgi, and corgis are generally incredibly motivated by food, I capitalize on this by becoming his primary food provider. Each kibble in this bag represents an opportunity to deepen our relationship. Whenever he exhibits behavior I appreciate, I make sure to acknowledge it and reward him accordingly. During our morning walks, I integrate food into exercises like loose leash walking or recall training. Throughout the day, I seize every chance to reinforce positive behavior with food. At the end of our walks, any remaining food is placed in Gandalf's bowl as a traditional meal. If there's nothing left, that just means we had extra time to work together on our walk and he was rewarded in plenty. In some early evenings, I bring Gandalf's dinner along for our park training sessions and a game of frisbee. This blend of play and food is especially enjoyable for Gandalf. With food as a reward, his fetch game becomes more reliable, knowing he'll earn a tasty kibble for successfully retrieving the frisbee. After a few rounds, we switch gears to trick training while he catches his breath. Following several rounds of engaging activities, Gandalf is sure to enjoy a long nap in the evening. Each dog has its own unique personality, but one universal truth remains. 
All dogs require daily physical and mental exercise to thrive. Ensuring your furry friend gets ample exercise not only tires them out, but also leads to a happier pup. A tired dog is not only more content, but also tends to exhibit better behavior. They are more receptive to training, socializing, and learning important boundaries and expectations. A well-exercised dog is also more likely to settle down peacefully in your home compared to one that hasn't had its exercise needs met. Therefore, it's crucial to prioritize providing your dog with both mental and physical stimulation every single day. When it comes to Gandalf's meals, we steer away from free feeding, preferring instead to seize every opportunity to strengthen our bond with him. Even during his regular meals, we maintain a structured approach, require him to demonstrate patience and obedience before indulging. Here's how it works. We fill his bowl, guide him to a seated position, and wait for him to attentively gaze up at us for instruction. Only then do we grant him access to his meal with a simple command. Whether in the kitchen or his crate, the location doesn't matter much. What does matter is recognizing that food holds significant value for dogs. By controlling access to it and reinforcing our leadership, we teach Gandalf that his best rewards come through cooperation with us. Consistently practicing this routine fosters a sense of calmness, respect, and reliance on our guidance. So these are the key practices I strongly recommend incorporating into your daily routine with your dog to ensure that they become a well-behaved and well-rounded companion. Feeling overwhelmed or unsure of where to begin? That's precisely why this channel exists. Check out this playlist right here and pick any topic that you need help with. Thank you for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.